Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to talk Season 4, Cena! Possibly the Hunter's Guild's most iconic player. Gotta love that bear. Probably one of the deepest changes um, of any player going into Season 4. Let's have a look at how the new Cena shakes out. Well, still got Tough Eyed, great. Still got Isolated Target, very, very useful. Furious has changed to Feral, so instead of getting a free charge, the bear gets a free attack. This is probably one of the most impactful changes in terms of how Cena's going to play, but we'll come back to that later. She's gained Crucial Artery, which is really nice, so now she's doing bleed with every damaging attack that she does. Very dangerous. Especially in conjunction with this new character play, The Mauling, which does a 2 inch pulse around the target. Or oh, sorry, rather, around the bear herself which does 3 damage to all other models within that 2 inch pulse around the bear and crucial artery to the enemies, as well as a 4 inch push, which is a real pace changer and has replaced bear hug as kind of seen as signature attack move and also has replaced intimidating roar in terms of how Cena now is uh, going to try to free herself from the dog pile that's one of the most effective ways of stopping her. So let's just go to her stats. So she's got faster. Instead of 4-7, uh, she's a now 5-7 move, which is very nice on uh, returning to the pitch. And particularly as she's going to be wanting to walk towards her targets uh, rather than charge, which we'll get into a bit later. Same tack, which is very nice. Same kick, which is unimpressive. Her defences have changed from 2-1 to a 3 nothing, which isn't a huge deal. It basically makes her just very slightly less vulnerable to ranged character play like attacks and more vulnerable to multiple debuffs. And I think my personal feeling is that 2-1 uh, is better than 3 nothing. but uh, as I say, I'm not convinced that's a massive, uh, there's a huge amount in it. What is a bit more of a bigger deal is she now brings an influence to the team, whereas before she brought nothing. And this ties in again with the, the way Furious has changed to Feral, and I'll return to it. Finally, we've got some, uh, you know, some substantial playbook changes. The number of successes she gets is now the damage she does, all momentously, which is lovely. And this is quite a big damage increase uh, for her. Especially when you consider that her playbook is shorter than her tack, and she's got this isolated target still, which is pushing this damage up by one. If the target is snared, she also makes wrapping easy, or easier, which becomes nine damage and two momentum on uh, if you basically just wrap to the one. It can get pretty scary pretty quickly. And that's without considering her access to Harriers, if you bring Metagi or Minerva. And if you do bring Minerva, why not put a uh, Ice Spy on something that you want Cena to go after? Oh, and knock it down for good measure as well. So yeah, uh, Cena can be rolling a bunch of dice against some pretty significant debuffs and with some pr uh, pretty significant attack buffs. She has the potential to be a total monster, especially with this lovely bleeding afterblow. Although, sadly, she won't be earning extra points anymore for her kills. Which I know we're all hoping to add up with Scatter's snowball goal, but I guess we'll have to start hunting mascots instead for that kind of thing to work. So, I mean, it is a shame, but we've got a lot in return. Looking at the top layer of the playbook, we've got a double push on one, which makes a really quite fiendish counter-attack. Not that she's ever going to get to use it, because knocking down Cena is, uh, is, is a priority and very easy to do. Stoic wouldn't have been out of place, but uh, also might have been a bit too much. We've kept uh, uh, the knockdown on two, which is great, uh, especially if Cena gets uh, crowded out and her attack starts reducing down. We're going to need to start hitting that. But the fact it's uh, non-momentous is a bit of a bummer. And the fact that we've lost this two damage and momentous knockdown further up the playbook is also a bit of a shame. I, I relied on that a fair amount when I couldn't quite get the setup I needed before Cena went in, to set the enemy up on that first attack and stop them from attacking me back. So now Cena is much more vulnerable to counter-attacks and is going to take a bit more setup finesse to really get the most out of her. The tackle has moved far up the playbook now, and it's never nice to lose an easy tackle. And it was a pretty funny thing to send the bear in, steal the ball and try to get a goal with her, but it didn't happen very often, at least uh, to me, so I can live with that change. The bread and butter is this momentous double gilbal symbol or whatever that thing is now. 
which gets you the mauling. And I love this place so much. So it's on uh, column four, which for tax seven is achievable. Uh, you'd want some setup first, really, but uh, uh, yeah, that would be nice. And momentous as well. So there is this really lets Cena players a bit of a gate smasher. If there's this, you know, that scrum of enemies setting up in the center, maybe trying to protect the ball. In goes Cena and sends the bodies flying everywhere. Break up formations, put three damage and bleed on people. All the good stuff. And as I said before, this also helps her get out of a scrum. So a, a typical tactic is to surround Cena with everybody, with uh, multiple models. Up to three models is probably the most effective. Cut her tack down so she can't really do much. And she's basically locked there. So uh, if you can start to knock down some models, get her tack back up and up to hitting this uh, mauling result, you can make the enemy pay for trying to do that to her and uh, explode her free. And this is where the changes to, uh, you know, the introduction of Feral and the increase in influence comes in. As previously, when she was stuck in a, in a scrum, she couldn't use her Furious ability because, you know, she couldn't charge. And she wasn't bringing any influence, so it was really eating into the team. Basically, if you were bringing Cena, you had to be charging to, to make up the kind of influence deficit. Now she's bringing the influence. It's not so hard on the team if she's uh, kind of locked down. And Feral allows her to get a free attack in combat. So all in all, it's making her more dangerous to surround and slightly less crippling for the hunters when uh, when that happens. The downside of this is the loss of Furious and how good it is. So previously, you give Cena her two influence each turn. She charges something for free to get you a really big attack. Typically the bear hug or the momentous two damage knockdown. And then two beastly follow-up attacks. Now you've got to pay for Cena's charge with influence. So she's only getting one little uh, follow-up attack, which is why she wants to avoid charging if she can and maximize the number of attacks she can make. This does, however, change with veteran Minx in the squad. As if Minx puts up marked target, Cena can then charge something for only one influence, allowing her to get back to her three attacks with the added bonus that uh, she'll effectively be at attack eight from Minx's crowd out. So that is 100% what, you, uh, what you're what you aiming for, for Cena's activation. And Minx drops a trap, so, you know, if you manage to wrap to the one, for example, why not give the enemy a little push? Get some snared, makes the follow-up attacks easier, and makes the damage uh, increase. So it's an absolutely whopping good synergy there. And whilst we're talking about synergies, who else goes or plays well with Cena? Well, those Falconers do. As I mentioned, Harrier, Knockdown, and Ice Spy. Minerva and the bear are going to be such good partners. On top of that, Zerola for moving the bear around. You know, it's, it's, it's often a thing that people will try to stay out of range of Cena and do all kinds of things like put down ground or uh, try to slow her with burden. And that's just not cricket. So a bit of uh, extra movement support from our friend Zerola can go a long way. Uh, as you know, since, since, since we quite like Scatter on this channel, Honourable mention to the Snowball Pass for a bit more out of activation movement. And who knows, some free dodges wouldn't go amiss either. So we've kind of, uh, you know, the list is sort of writing itself. We've got Cena, we've got Veteran Minx, we've got Minerva. You've probably got uh, Zerola because, oh yeah, she can also do Snared. Sounds like a pretty good team to me. As for mascots, not sure Snow's uh, pack hunting, whatever it is that allows you to have that free dodge, really will, will, will pay too much for Cena, as I said. She's likely to get knocked down because her counterattacks are so awesome. But she might quite like anatomical if you're an all eggs in one basket kind of man. Probably easier to play with Fahad, more influence efficient. And if you're attacking something with a, you know, that's snared with an animal for big damage, you might as well double down on that. And I'm sure Theron could do good things. But wouldn't you like the bear to be a bit faster and say go ice skating um, for a seven inch move? I sure would. So yeah, I think I know what I'm doing when uh, Scatha wants to play a 4-1 game. Or into teams I've got a decent chance of fighting into rather than having to go all out for the uh, for the goals. So those are my thoughts on Season 4, Cena. I think she's a great model. Will still probably take a little bit of finesse, but likely less than before. Super strong, super like her. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.